Hey everybody, it's Matt Johnson. We are back with another episode of Real Estate Uncensored. Thank you so much for joining us. This is going to be a really fun episode. We did have some uh, some technical difficulties on the front end, so we are starting a little late. But while we wait for people to jump on and join us live, uh, I just want to thank anybody that's watching the replay right here on YouTube. Go ahead and hit subscribe. And then if you prefer the audio version, just nestled right here between your ears. Go over to iTunes or Stitcher and subscribe there. Now we're talking about things that you can do to distinguish and separate yourself as a female real estate agent. We've got amazing guests. We've got a lot of stuff to cover. She's going to talk about five specific things. But before we get to that, we've got a question from the Facebook Lead Gen Scription Objections Group, and I want to bring in in the co-pilot seat, as always, the junior grandmaster himself, Greg McDaniel. Greg, what's up today? What's up, Matt? I was literally leaning into the mic to be like, "Excuse yourself, uh, you're forgetting me. Uh, you're just going straight to the question, and no junior grandmaster. That's just fucking rude." <laughs> um, I, I would dream about it. You wouldn't dream of it. Okay, dude, I got to you. It, let's try to limit the hurt feelings to when I actually do something that merits it. <laughs> I mean, I, I need you know, like I need to store up and have some opportunities to like just to get on your case, but let's let's hold off on the hurt feelings until I actually do something. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how we roll. Anyways, uh, dude, I gotta tell you, man, I'm so blessed, bro. Would you know that we're booked all the way to the end of the month on the McDaniel Challenge? Seriously? We are seriously booked all the way to the end. Um, and I was... It, oh, shit. Where is everything? Here it is. Um, no, that's not it. I got a bunch of shout-outs I was going to do, and I can't find it on my notepad. That sucks. Anyways, we'll go to the question while I uh, say how blessed I am, because I am so happy people are taking me up. They're finding me, again, like I said last time, man, they're finding me a lot more on LinkedIn. So, yeah, you know... Man. I got Melissa from the Pacific Northwest, dude. She's hit me up. We're, I booked her for the 29th, I want to say, and we're going to talk about. She has. She's so funny. She's like, look, Greg, uh, the, the way you're getting more popular, I'm not going to be able to get back on the on the docket again. So I have I have a hundred questions. I'm going to have them all written up. I'm going to be super prepared, and I'm not, I'm not going to get off track. I'm like, um, it's just a conversation. <laughs> don't have like, to. Greg's like, I, at most I can handle five, and then I'm going to talk for an hour and a half anyway. So, and, and then I'll just start drinking and tune you out. Yeah, that was a great question. Uh... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, uh, there's so many relationship-oriented jokes. I'm, I'm just going to leave that one alone. Um, so let's let's jump in. And Greg, why don't you introduce our guest real quick? That way she can uh, she can give her two cents on the question from the Facebook group. Oh, absolutely, guys. I want you to meet Ashley Horcher. She is a newer agent, um, a girl, as you can tell. She's going to be a feature guest talking <laughs> about women. Um, and she is an, a really, really, really um, amazing young lady. She came into an area. She moved from San Diego up to be with her boyfriend, now fiance. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and she broke into a marketplace where she didn't really know a lot of people and changed into this new business, and she crushed it. Her first year, guys, she did her ten deals in five months. She wanted to do ten years and ten deals in twelve months. She did ten deals in five months, guys. She's going to share her secrets with you today. Like I've said in the last couple of uh, hangouts, please get your paper and your pen out. She's going to give you tools that are most likely almost all free, if not all free, and uh, she's going to help you guys make money. So please pay attention. You're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Ashley, how's it going today? Doing well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, I it was it was a little bit of a uh, technical journey, but we're glad you hung with us. <laughs> yes, definitely. You know, running for the finish line always. <laughs> yeah, we were running. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Literally. Cool. All right, so let's uh, let's jump in and let's uh, let's all gang up on this question here. So this is from the Facebook Lead Gen Scripts and Objections group, which is run by our friend Aaron Wittenstein. So me and Greg are both members. So if you're not already a member, go join up at facebook.com/groups/gotobjections. So Jamie Christine asked, what kinds of things do you guys do when a listing has had little to no activity to generate interest? So Greg, what say you? Matt, I say, um, first off, <laughs> you need to get that up front. You need to tackle that objection up in the beginning. It's going to come down to price. Legitimately, if you don't have any action, it's because you're overpriced. So when you sit down for that listing agreement in the, and you know you're going to be over overpricing this thing, just say, okay, you know, Matt, Julie, you're three 12-pound babies. What we're going to be doing is we're going to <laughs> we're going to uh, be we're going to go with your price in the beginning because we want to help you get as much money as you possibly can. But you know, within within 14 days, if we don't have a sh on average a show in a day or an act or a contract in our hands, we're going to agree as a as a team as a group. To come back, sit down, reevaluate the market, and then go and then relaunch back out with a different price that may be more appropriate for what the market is telling us. Now, 
the, with that script, I did a couple of things. One, I gave them that ego boost up front. I let them have the win on the price, even I, even though I know they're completely off the rock, off their rocker. Um, second off, I gave them a specific time frame of 14 days, and then I said, I said, us, we, team. I brought them into the fold. They're part of the decision making, and then I said we'd go back out. And I didn't criticize their their their, their pricing. What I told them was we're going to go re relaunch back out into the market with a property with a price that would reflect what the market is telling us. I'm not saying because you're an idiot and you overpriced it because you're a greedy bastard. That probably won't get the <laughs> that won't get you. Uh, that's that's all just going, going on up here. It's that's not going out here. Yeah. You're just sitting, internally. You're sitting there going, "You're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot." What what rock did you crawl it on from? And then externally, you're like, "You know what? That's very interesting. We should try that. I I think we could maybe get that amount for you." <laughs> and this is when you walk out, and your manager looks at you, and goes, "So did you guys get it listed?" You're like, "Yeah, we got it listed for seven fifty, but it's a five hundred thousand dollar neighborhood." <laughs> <laughs> that's always the worst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But get up, get up front, and attack this thing up front, guys. That's the number one thing you need to do. Also, look at the marketing. You know, do do brokers tours on a, a weekly basis. You know, get it back out on tour for you. Make sure everyone knows what's going on. Shoot videos about it. Highlight different attributes that are the best, and do social media clips on it. Um, stuff like that is probably what I would do. But it all does come down to price. But Ashley is a master of pricing. So what would the, what would the Ashley do? Honestly, exactly what you just said, it's usually overpriced. So that's something you definitely need to take into consideration. Once you do lower the price and get your client back to the planet of lowering the price because, you know, they want the most for their money, <laughs> um, I you have to do open houses. You have to get it out there that the price has dropped. Yes, you may do it on the MLS, and but if it's been sitting for a long time, it also um, may need more exposure again you know as those people have seen it you might need to do some updates to it even if you do lower the price get people back into the property or else it's just gonna sit and it's gonna continue to sit unless you do something different obviously it didn't work the first time for a reason so lower the price market it exactly like how Greg was saying and just get out there again mm -hmm. it's amazing how so many problems can be solved by solving mm -hmm. them first an ounce yeah. of prevention right well, yeah, it's amazing too even if you add sorry Greg even if you add paint Paint colors. You know, if there's a bright red wall that are steering people away, paint it a neutral color. It's amazing the feedback you get on just the little little fixes here and there that can really bring the buyer in to see, okay, I can actually visualize myself living here now. You know, I'm not scared away by this crazy red wall. So <laughs> there's people with no vision. It's, yeah. it's a can of paint, but there's a there's a great app called AM Open House. It's a free app, you guys. You can get feedback from people. Um, then they type in their information. You can stay up with them, take a look at it. But that's another opportunity to then go show the seller if they're being a stubborn mule and not wanting to do anything. You can say, look, I understand this has sentimental value and your great great grandmother who's now been dead painted it with you and it's really touching. They don't give a shit. The buyers are like, look, it freaks me out. I'm, you know, I, I can't do red. It reminds me of death. <laughs> you know, but yeah, just you got to be rational. It's a, just help them have the vision. Oh, guess what though, Matt? Mm. Guess what I found? This is when you guess. <laughs> oh no, this is not when I guess. Go ahead, <laughs> dude. I found my shoutouts. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> so let's start off with that, and then I'll give my shoutouts, which I do not need to be written down. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Beth, you are awesome, by the way. Beth, Matt, has found our blooper reels and has been yeah. laughing her ass off. <laughs> and she, she thanked us for it. She's been, quote, binge-watching us and loves us. We're better than Netflix and Hulu. And I'm like, well, there's that. Okay. Just, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Um, like I said, Melissa from LinkedIn, I'd love to connect with you. She's a super cool chick, um, young gal, very much like Ashley, she, uh, working up, I think, in Seattle. She's going to hate me for when I can't remember. Um, <laughs> dude, my South Africa guy, brother, dude, he, we weren't able to connect. He had a big old storm in South Africa, and he his alarm clock didn't go off. So we're, we're going to get another time to hang out together, and I'm going to accommodate him and do a special time, given that he, <laughs> 6 o'clock my time is 4 a.m. What? 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 You're going to move the McDaniel Challenge time for somebody? Don't let anyone know. It's her secret. And then yeah, exactly. Marlo. Dude, I loved talking to you. Dude, she was she was so nice. 
uh, over in Florida, and she um, actually was very kind. Actually, not in Florida. She was from uh, Texas, moved to Chicago to be with her boyfriend. Um, I didn't know this, but her daughter, dude, gets paid big money to have people watch her play video games. That is an actual profession. Awesome. I am in the wrong business. <laughs> um, but Marlo's going to do a great job. She's going to really uh, show, really take a lot what we talked about. She texted me the, me the next morning thanking me. So Marlo, thank you. You are so much fun to talk, and I truly, truly want to see how you do as you grow. Please do not be a stranger. And that's mine. I'm done. I'm all done. No more talking. <laughs> I'm surprised. That's, that's a little nice for you, Greg. I know. I don't. <laughs> <Sucks. laughs> well. Uh, for me, so a few quick shout outs on my end. I uh, just want to thank Viral Marketing real quick for cutting a check to make hangouts and podcasts like these happen. Uh, they do a phenomenal job of, uh, of running Greg's Bay Area real estate video blog. So if you want something similar and you want to market to your, your database, check them out at getviral.com. And then Equity with two Qs, the uh, viral lead generation machine. Uh, program that's uh, built from the ground up for solo agents. So if you want to generate buyer leads and you want to be hooked up with a mortgage lender that will actually pay uh, and help subsidize the cost of generating those leads, just get hooked up with Greg. So that leads us into the best way to get connected with Equity, which is to actually take the McDaniel Challenge and talk to Greg, and he will help you out and yeah. uh, figure out what market you're in and get you hooked up. So, Greg, what's the McDaniel Challenge? The McDaniel Challenge is an opportunity to not let me spend a night alone. Hashtag, don't let Greg spend a night alone. <laughs> I knew you'd get a kick out of that, actually. <laughs> uh, so really what it is, is honestly not letting me spend a night alone. Monday through Thursday, guys, um, I give an hour of free coaching and training uh, from 6 p.m. to 7, 7.30 p.m., depending on how much you let me ramble and get on my soapbox, um, get, helping you work through any kind of stoppages or blockages you may have in the business or you know, helping you read Jumpstart or anything like that. Most likely what I've done with a lot of our folks is I go in there and I help you, I build you a personalized marketing campaign based upon different a aspects and attributes that you may or may not know that you have. And I will explain that more on the Hangout. So we are booked. Uh, Matt is, like I said in the beginning, dude, I'm so blessed. We are booked. I lied to you. <laughs> we're, bu <laughs> we're booked until the week of the 25th. But the, I have Monday the 25th, and I have Wednesday the 27th available. And then we're going to jump into February, guys. So i got two more slots left in this month. Call me, text me, number, personal cell phone, yes, that's mine, uh, is 925-915-1978, You can't. And take it right down because when Greg's bored, he calls me, and then that's not, that's not good for anyone. <laughs> I just, I end up having to do more work. Matt's out having fun with someone, and I, he's seen my desperate text messages. Matt, I don't have anyone to talk to. Matt, are you there? <laughs> Why are you not responding to me, Matt? Are, do you not like me anymore? Is this podcast going to fail? Is there a partnership dissolving? And that's when Matt gets upset. So don't, let, don't dissolve our partnership and our, and our podcast, guys. Help me out. That's right. Don't, hashtag don't let Greg spend the line alone. <laughs> All right. So with that said, let's jump into it. What do you say? Yeah, let's do this. All right, awesome. So Ashley, you have some, uh, yeah, basically five specific tips or strategies uh, that you want to share based on your own experience. Let's start with uh, a couple of them that, that really jumped out to me. Number one, let's start with uh, Zillow. Oh, definitely. I just have to make one quick correction. Uh, February will be my second year. My first year, I did the six sales. My second, excuse me, five sales. My second year, I did 13, and my goal was to double it. So just closed my 13 deal right before the 1st of January. So um, I want to let you guys know that there are so many avenues out there that you can take advantage of that don't cost a lot of money. I know beginning your real estate career, um, seeing the lead generations, the things that cost $950 a month can be really outrageous. So take advantage of the things that are free. Uh, Zillow website is amazing. It gives you an opportunity to talk about your business, talk about yourself, uh, lets your clients go on and review you, which is a huge, huge um, upsell for you, especially if you go on a listing appointment and you have a bunch of reviews and past sales, they're going to see these, use that, you know, your personal Zillow page, go onto it, look at everything and be like, wow, this girl, you know, has sold 13 homes in the last 12 months. That's amazing. She has five star, you know, ratings and that's hard at uh, being a new agent. I mean, I may be kind of a nerd when I have a, a sale. I'm like, sweet, I get to put that on Zillow, you know, <laughs> it's another sale, you know, and being a newer agent, you have to take that credibility. You want that. You need that experience because you are going up against people who have been in the, you know, in, in selling real estate for 45 plus years. So take advantage of those free websites. Even if you don't have anything, you just, if somebody goes to Google you, 
you want them to see your name. You don't want to be a ghost realtor. They're going to go with the next person that shows up on Google. So mm -hmm. free, it's free, free, free. Why not? Put, yeah. put yourself so, on So, So before you, or at least outside of the sales, right, outside mm -hmm. of the reviews and the information about actual sales, mm -hmm. what, uh, what would you recommend like a new agent go to post to Zillow? Uh, well, honestly, it, it actually has postings. Zillow, you have to be a past client. Is so, so somebody can't just log on and be like, Ashley's great. I worked with her, but we didn't buy. You, it says, have you bought with Ashley? Um, so really, that is kind of credibility right there. So you're not getting a lot of fake reviews. Now you can be on, you know, you can go on to Yelp or even Facebook. Your Facebook business page, anybody can review you. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, and in, you know, there's times where somebody does look for a year and something financially a burden comes up and they can't buy so of course they may say Ashley spent so much time you know whatever it may be but we didn't purchase with Zillow you're actually getting the people who have bought and sold through you specifically so that's really um, it's really credible and, and accountable for for your reviews it really is and that's I mean it is the largest uh, website and platform for people when they go to look for homes you, there are they are going to see Ashley is 100% correct and that's something I totally suck at. So <laughs> uh, I am after this conversation Ashley I'm going to have all my past clients go and get some reviews. Well, let how, me just, how hard okay. is it to get people to give you reviews? That's something that people I want to tackle really quickly. Yes, okay. So um, when I give a closing gift, which I do on every single past sale, um, I ask them very nicely in a handwritten letter to go to my Zillow and then I um, I email them the link. And honestly, if, if you do good at your job and they want to review you, they'll, they'll be putting it in within the day. So um, I've had a pretty good experience on getting, I mean, it's not every single, obviously, person that I've sold through, but most of them go on and have no problem doing it. Sometimes people forget and you kind of give them a little nudge, be like, hey, do you mind reviewing me? And then they're like, oh, sorry, <laughs> I didn't realize that it was such a big deal. And then they realize, oh, right, your referral base, it's, you know, yeah based on you know experience and on everything and I do have to say one little thing a fluke thing happened with me on Zillow um, I was representing the buyer on a, a sale that we closed on I got a phone call actually text message saying hey one two three four Main Street just sold I saw you're the listing agent I possibly have I want to sell my house can you give me a call I call him and I go you know in all honesty I actually represented the buyer on this but the listing agent didn't put her sold as representing listing, so my information came up. Huh. And I go, I did not represent, uh, I was not the listing agent, but I do know the area extremely well. I live in Pleasant Hill. I would love to meet with you. Met for, with him with coffee, had a great time, and possibly have a listing now coming on in July. So nice. all, all a random fluke, just because, you know, I keep up to date with my Zillow account. That's yeah. awesome. That is yeah. really, really awesome. But guys, what she said in there it probably just flew right over your ears. But I talk fast, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's most because most people don't um, they don't think about it. You said something that that people need to hear again. You wrote them a handwritten letter, right. not an right. email, with mm -hmm. the link going. Hey, thanks so much for the opportunity to work with you guys. Love you. Kiss, kiss, hug, hug. Wink, right. wink. You know, boom. That 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 has no value. But she took the time to sit down, get something like this. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't throw it at them. <laughs> <laughs> like this, just hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, write it down, put a couple of cards in there, ask for them to do the link. Easy, it's, easy. it's easy peasy. Just you got to put the personal touch to it. That's all I'm saying. Definitely. Well, let me throw in a quick two cents here because I was talking like I think last year I met Jorn Force, who's up in Temecula. Uh, he is the uh, he is the Zen master of Zillow reviews and Zillow lead generation. That guy has, I don't know, 150 or uh, oh, at that goodness. point it was 150 <laughs> reviews or something like that on Zillow. So he does not wait until closing. He waits until the point during the acceptance of the offer and when they close. Whatever that point is when you're delivering the best news and they are in the best mental state and hmm. then he goes for the kill. <laughs> there you so go. that's I remember that. Yeah. yeah, and then so he'll so he's talking to them on the phone or his client care coordinator in that case is. So they're looking for that opportunity when they're actually on the phone with the seller and they're they have good news to deliver. Uh, things are wrapping up. The sellers are at their highest point emotionally. They're really happy. That's when you say, hey, you know, would you mind leaving us a review? You know, once you mm -hmm. once you close and you get into that new house, there's going to be so many things on your plate. We don't want you to ask you to do it then. Um, you can actually go now, and I'll email you the link. And if you can just leave us a review now, and let us know how we did. That would be awesome. And that's how he's getting. He consistently gets a huge, very, very high percentage of his clients to leave reviews on Zillow, and then that also gives him that cushion to where if something falls apart at the last minute, 
Um, <laughs> and they have to, like, you know, and, and just the feelings aren't as good. And it's still, obviously, the deal still goes through, but yeah. uh, you know how it is. There's always things yeah. at the very, very Something end. Something always happens. Spoil all the work that you've done. So he circumvents that by getting them to review it before it closes. So I actually, a great idea. I actually told my, my clients we listed a home last night. And um, they they're 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 loving me right now. This is great. We're helping them through. I'm not going to do it yet. As soon as they get that contract signed, oh baby, you are you are giving me a, a review. But I, I headed it off up front, talking to the part when you know you know shit goes sideways on you. Um, I said, look, you know, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, right now we're rational, sane human beings. And when we do this transaction, you're going to become irrational and insane. You're going to want to kill me. I'm going to want to kill you. You're going to hate me. You're going to wonder why you hired me. But once we close, you're going to love me, and we're going to throw you a party. So help, I'm going to help you understand how the emotions are going to roll. And they kind of looked at me like I was crazy for a second, and then they started <laughs> laughing. But I headed that off so that when stuff might go sideways, they already know it's going to go sideways. So, yeah. you know, maybe... Ooh, what if you could ask the husband to give you a review and then the wife to give her your review? You can get, you can double dip. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a, that's a great remember, idea. even if it doesn't go up on Zillow, if you get a really good quote from someone, if they email it to you, or um, if you if they deliver it to you verbally over the phone, and then you put it down into an email, email it to them and just say, hey, would you mind if I use this in my marketing materials? You still have that, whatever that a very powerful paragraph that you can use in your stuff, even if it never sees the light of Zillow. Definitely. Absolutely. All right, so. Let's move on to uh, one of the other things that caught my ear, and then we'll talk about Sphere and some of your other strategies. So let's talk about Facebook. Ooh, that's my fun subject. Facebook, <laughs> everybody, everybody needs to have a personal and business page. If you are not, you should slap yourself in the face right now. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not even kidding because Facebook again is another free avenue. Um, you know, with Facebook and your business page, it also gives you an opportunity to promote yourself. Okay, you can promote a listing. If you're holding an open, open house, whether it be somebody else's, you could still invite people to the open house. Just sold. Show people that you're doing well in your business. Say you just sold a listing. Um, you know, I have a different way of my just solds that I do. I don't really, I know some realtors, and I, and I hope that I'm not going to offend anybody. I usually offend people. You probably will. My mouth, but whatever, right? Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> but in all honesty, um, I like to say just sold, congratulations to my clients, you know, welcome home, blah, blah, blah. I'm not the one that's like beat out 10 people over this, da, da, like, you know, top, top, top. You know, it's not about me, it's about them. And that's what I like to show, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling for them to be in the new home. It shouldn't be about me, and me because I'm the best realtor because they accepted my offer. No, it's a really good congratulations. It just sold, super easy, really nice thing. That's it, and, you know, not too much information. Um, now, if you do not have, you know, just solds or a listing or uh, open house, write a, put an article on there and boost it, you know, write anything relevant to real estate, you know, um, I had a good, what is it, surprising color trends of 2016. You don't need to be completely active, but as long as you're engaging in your audience and they're seeing you're out there and you know what you're talking about real estate wise, they're going to keep coming back to you. And, I, and you know, here's another thing. I was in the grocery store and a mutual friend came up to me. She's like, oh my gosh, do you sell a home once a week? Like you are absolutely killing it. I see you all over Facebook. I see all your just solds. There was a time in, you know, 2015, I did have seven escrows and I closed them pretty fast. But it's cool to see that other people are seeing your production and they're noticing and they're like, gosh, when I'm ready to sell, I'm coming to you. And that's really cool, to, especially being a newer agent. Um, now, I would you believe me if I told you my first sale was from Facebook private messaging? <laughs> that's the part I want to talk about. Yeah, I'm getting there. I knew you wanted me to get there. <laughs> I want, and I want that script, by the way. I have, I've been, actually, I've been I need to say it right now, to be honest. So, yes. um, so you should be happy about that. You finally get it out of me. Um, I, had, I actually had to almost like horse trade with her yeah. earlier in the, <laughs> last year. I'm like, hey, look, I'll give you this if you give me that. I'm okay, still can expecting we, it. Okay, can we just still I still haven't given it to me, damn it. Um, in all honesty, so this came from your personal. Facebook. Um, everybody has probably more friends in their business. I private messaged every single one of my friends on Facebook. Now mind you, I used to be a bartender in San Diego. I have a lot of friends. It took a long time and um, well worth it, obviously. Um, honestly, what I did, my script, super, super easy. I said, if you don't mind, I'm going to read it like this so I don't mess up. I said, <laughs> 
I said, hi, Christy. It's been forever since I've seen you, but I'm just reaching out to family and friends. I'm back from San Diego and selling real estate at J. Rockcliffe Realtors in Danville. Not sure if you and Michael own yet, but I would love to help you find your first home or if you know of anyone looking to buy or sell. I hope all is well. You look so happy and congratulations on your engagement. Now, what I did there is I copied and pasted the whole J. Rockcliffe thing about me um, but I put something personal in about them. You know, I asked about Michael. I congratulated them about their engagement. I really wanted to, you know, engage with them, letting them know I am following up with them. And her response to this was, hey, Ashley, it's so great to hear from you, and, congr and congratulations on the new job. What areas are you specializing in? I'm actually starting the process to buy a house, trying to get pre-approved now. So, I mean, gold mine. Are you kidding me? I gave her some lenders. She used my lender. I met her for lunch. And I actually went to middle school with this person. How yeah. far? I mean, how far away is that? Just by reaching out, I mean, you have to be prepared that not everyone's going to respond. People are busy. You see Facebook messages like, oh, whatever. You know, some people are not looking. But when you get that one, it's a free, free sale. My first sale in my entire career. And how cool is that? So now. Being two years in February, I'm going back to the basics. I'm going to redo it all again and say, guys, I've been in it for two years and do a little different spiel and maybe congratulations on the baby instead of the engagement. You know, everyone kind of goes that way. So um, it's honestly just engaging. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you get married and then you have kids? I Is know. that how that works? She, she, meant, she meant other other people, Greg. Other people. Oh. Gosh. Okay. Not us, right? Other, other oh. people Not that me. are normal. Not Not married. Talk yeah. to me in five years. <laughs> <laughs> TMI, right? <laughs> but no, honestly, Facebook free. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it to your advantage. It works. I mean, it increases exposure and it increases traffic. It develops loyal fans. You could talk about your mic excuse me, marketplace and um, your leads. It's a free lead generation. It is actually. There's a couple of things I wanted to add, quickly dovetail on that. Yeah. So I just I just heard of this uh, this this idea the other day. I loved it, and I'm gonna start doing it myself. I, so I do what you do. You know, I do a video with them or a photo with them at the closing table or whatnot. Congratulations. Try next time. It's called the angel effect. I talked about it in the last podcast, and okay. it's when you give them the phone or they have their phone, and they just take their phone, turn it around, and they just go, Oh my gosh. Ashley is was just the most amazing amazing agent. We just couldn't have done it without her. Ugh, just much love. You know, we're gonna refer everybody <laughs> to you. That's great. That is one thing I definitely admit I need to work on videos. You guys are amazing. Top realtors are using videos. That is something is on my goal sheet for 2016. So that's a good one. Thank you. You're welcome. Also, two other points. Uh, articles. Uh, do you use Howls by chance? Do you go to Howls.com? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, took, took all the wind out of my sails on that one. I thought Sorry. I was gonna be good there. <laughs> I knew that one already. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then um, back to the point of like your friend from G uh, middle school, right? Mm -hmm. I had a friend of mine. Uh, I was doing like inspirational, positive th videos like a minute or so, like two years ago on Facebook. It worked so well, I quit doing it. Um, <laughs> right. And uh, it, it, his name was Clayton, and he goes, "Hey, Greg, I I saw I keep seeing all your videos out there. You know, it, I have a question uh, about real estate." And so to the point that. You don't know who's reading and watching your posts that never respond because mm -hmm. it's not the right time for them. So keep giving value to people like Ashley has been doing so well at with her with her uh, Facebook page. So keep that in mind for yours, you guys. And you can also boost these posts too. So it doesn't just go to your audience; it goes to outside audience. And the, there's, I think, the minimum budget is five dollars. I mean, how you can't get better than that, you know? So fun, something funny about that, we uh, we did a Facebook uh, little ad thing, kind of like what you're do, what you're talking about, and mm -hmm. we did a five dollar boost. And I got stopped at a broker's tour, and she goes, "Wait a minute, you're Greg McDaniel. <laughs> Why can you you stop posting on Facebook? I see you everywhere." And I, That's I just want to be. I giggled. I'm like, "Am I are you threatened?" Yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> are you threatening me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. back to Ashley. Yeah, and in terms of uh, like Facebook posting, I was talking to Jeff Cohn about this last month, and across his uh, 25 agents and all of their many, many thousands of dollars of, of, uh, of marketing money that they spend to generate leads every month, boosted Facebook posts about specific listings driving back to their lead capture website are one of their most effective and cheapest sources of leads. It's amazing, and I'm worried that they're all going to catch on and start charging us. <laughs> so use it while it's free. <laughs> but hey, but don't let now, them see this. <laughs> but now you know what we're, they're going to let us do, guys. They're going to unleash 
Facebook Live, and then you can have in, interact with your people live time on on the you know, Facebook Live. So it'll be like a private message on steroids. So wow. you can talk about what's going on. Now, Greg, do you have the IDX on your Facebook? We did for a little bit, but I don't really mess around with our team. I tag yeah. my team uh, and our and our followers there. But like you, I have a substantial amount of people that are my personal friends, and it just makes it better. Because the reason why, guys, why I actually post to her personal and then you know her, to her team, she can tag her team page in her personal page. You can't reverse it. Right. So you got to make sure that you have have all the expansions. But you also you're working with your mother now. She joined your team, so you she can just text her. Joined, yeah, yeah. Which, definitely. by the way, Janie, if you're watching, you're awesome. She ran out of the room. She's nervous. A <laughs> 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 good smart woman. <laughs> what is the deal with everybody being nervous? The video. God. Uh, this is my first webinar, and I am sweating over here. So. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm actually, a little nervous. I got my fan on me, so I don't. Oh, I missed I miss that memo. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a brisk, like, 60 degrees here in San Diego, so I actually had to turn oh. on my heater over there before the podcast. So, Otherwise, so I was about everybody to... in San Diego. <laughs> uh, you crack me okay, up. so uh, anything else that you want to say on Facebook before we move on to some other uh, of your strategies? Nope, just use it. Use it, use it, use it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what did you do for, for uh, besides the Facebook private messages, what did you do to get more business from your sphere? Okay, um, no, I'll, Okay. we'll do spare, sorry. Um, let's see here. So besides the Facebook, what you can do is, well, here, my, my biggest hurdle was when I first started, I was like, I don't know who to contact. I don't have a sphere. What am I going to do? So I really sat down and I was like, actually, I kind of do know a lot of people. My hairdresser, my dentist, my, you know, my doctor, whoever it may be, it takes, again, a handwritten letter, put your cards in there, and when you go to your doctor, be like, here, I just wanted you to know that I'm selling real estate now. Um, now, given most of them, most of them probably already know a realtor, but it's best to get your name out there. You just never know, you know, and then um, with the sphere, obviously the whole Facebook thing, any family members, make sure that's the worst, man. If family members don't know you're in your real estate, then you're not doing, <laughs> you're not doing something right if they don't know you're in real estate. So anybody that you, it's, it's a dagger to the heart when you see somebody buy on Facebook, right? One of your friends or something. It's because you're not doing your job and letting people know that you're a real estate agent. Um, so get out there. Talk to people. I mean, even random people. It's so crazy how you're just in the grocery store. I picked up crazy. Picked up a, um, <laughs> crazy. I picked up a, a lady, a little lady behind me is talking about real estate. And I turned around and I said, hey, if you have any questions, here's my card. We are in escrow today after I did that in, in the grocery store. So... <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, right? That doesn't happen. Like, that doesn't yeah. happen. So, so you I shouldn't do what I do, which is go into the grocery store with earbuds on and a baseball <laughs> hat and sunglasses. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees yeah, me. Let's just do one of these, right? Well, I can't you be having like people recognize me in public. I mean, oh, geez. Just, oh, oh horrible. horrible. Yeah. Um, so. But I, yeah, and also just to just to also reiterate too about your sphere. Don't forget about your past clients. That is the number one thing I even hear veteran agents say. They're like, oh my gosh, I just completely forgot about the people, and they're gone. They forget about you. If they're, you're not thinking about them, they're definitely not thinking about you. So this year, I dropped off Christmas um, presents to all my clients, and it was an old bottle opener, but it looked like a rustic key, kind of vintage key, mm -hmm. and I didn't do ornaments because what's going to happen? Ornaments go away in two weeks, right? Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. if you have a party and people need a beer open, they're going to use that fancy little bottle opener, and hey, they may say, that's pretty awesome. Where'd you get that from? Oh, I got it from my realtor. Um, and it's just little things like that. Drop by, just say hi, see how they're doing. Well, when their home warranty's up, send them a, hey guys, your year home warranty's up. You might want to, you know, re get another one to be protected. You know, it's just little things. I mean, there's always a holiday. There's always something going on that you could reach out to your sphere. So stop making excuses because you can definitely do it. That's true. I actually have, I downloaded and actually I'll give it to you. Matt, I'll share it with you. Anybody who wants it, you can email me. I actually have a calendar with every single holiday that's, that's going to come up with a marketing idea attached to it. It's it's pretty. Did I tell you awesome. I already have it? <laughs> what? Did what? I tell you I already have it? <laughs> you're 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 just no fun today. I know. I'm just I, I'm I just was... waiting on your parade. <laughs> Taking away all my thunder, all my no, no, thunder. But it, it's really good, guys. Honestly, keep in touch with your sphere and past clients. That's that's definitely it, a, a thing. To do. I dropped off. I dropped off a Christmas present, and my and my friend said, my past client said, hey, my mom's looking to sell in Castro Valley. Brought a CMA as I dropped off the Christmas present. So it's one of those things that you just never know. You just got to reach out. No, I have two stories for you. One, I've been telling all you guys to do this shit, so finally there's someone who's, you know, on my bandwagon. Oh, we didn't actually believe you, Greg. Yeah, it's working. Uh, 
both of you. It's like a guy's <laughs> ganging up on me. It's a rough day for Greg. Um, but uh, the, if you have absolutely no flipping money and you're watching free podcasts because you ain't got shit else to do, but you want to try to make some money in real estate, you have these or you know, or go down and go get them. Business cards, guys. Go like Ashley did. If you, I guarantee. I guarantee you, I will literally stake my life on this next comment. If you went and handed out 25 business cards every single day, your deal flow would would pick up to an unsustainable amount, and it would be off of just being nice to an old lady in line at the supermarket. Okay, not being a secret agent. I had my AIM class, my uh, uh, agents in motion with Rockcliffe here. I challenged them on Monday uh, to go and uh, do a pop by on. Two people, three people. Guys, out of a class of 10, four of them either picked up a client or are in contract within three days. That's amazing. You should come back to my class. I'll teach you how to do that. <laughs> I, need, I need some refreshment. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Ashley is brilliant. That just It's so simple and cheap and easy. And You're you're everywhere. You're at the, at the hairdresser. You're at the gas station. You're at the bank. You're at whatever. Hand out your business card. If you're saying, when I, you know, thinking about buying a seller, and when I could help, you know, here's my card. And if you have a good relationship with them, you can ask them to leave your business cards at their office or their their salon or whatever. As of mm -hmm. right now, I have my business cards at my nail salon and at my gym in Pleasant Hill, or actually it's in Concord, uh, Diablo Rock. And if you go in, you sign in, and my business cards are right next to the sign in. Like it doesn't hurt to ask. Don't be afraid of the no. If they say no, then cool. Go get your workout on. <laughs> yeah, who? Cares? Go go get mad and and sweat that out. <laughs> yeah, sweat it out. Offer at the end of the conversation. Ask them how can I grow help you grow your business as exactly. well. Exactly, you can co-market. That's something else I was going to bring up. But sh there you go. Yeah, got oh, one. Oh my god, <laughs> Greg won actually too. I got one more. I got one more to bring this even. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, guys, we don't have any fun together. No, not right. not at all. No. <laughs> All right, Ashley. So what, what have you got? There's two. There's two more things. Yeah, two you more. Cover. Okay. Uh, open yeah. houses, guys. Again, this is free. This is free, free, free. Open houses. Pick up as many as you can. You have no idea who's going to come into your open house. Yes, we all know some are dull. Some all have agents. Whatever it may be, there's always somebody out there that is lying, possibly. You know, <laughs> set up on housing notifications. You know, I have. I set up a, a client on open house a year ago on housing notifications. We are finally looking and got into contract last week from an open house lead. So I'm talking about the girl from the grocery store and, and the, um, the open house. Those are the two that I'm in right now. Random, but it was free. It was all just talking, social networking, and then doing an open house. But, you know, you have to be prepared for an open house. You have to be prepared to answer any questions about the specific property. Know the neighborhood. Know the school district. Know what's just been sold or active or pending because, hey, if they don't like this one, you can say, Great, I'm out of here at 4 o'clock. Would you like to see the home down the street? I can set an appointment. Whatever it may be. There's ways to um, really get in front of somebody and make, and then it actually shows you if they're serious or not, you know. Um, so knock, knock on the doors before an open house. Invite everyone to the open house. You never know who you're going to meet. I'm not a huge door knocker, and that's something I do need to work on um, is my farm area. So I just uh, – that's something I will work on. I promise you on that. Mark, just just mark me down for that one. But um, I know where you work, so I <laughs> shoot, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but anyways, honestly, you never know who you can meet. Somebody who is looking to buy, who's renting in the neighborhood, or they want to sell. Keep me posted on what it sells for, and come back and talk to me. So, so actually, here's an idea for you. I know. Um, <laughs> oh shit, he's gonna make me. <laughs> Sure. Um, <laughs> it is going to be door knocking. It is going to be door knocking around the house. You're going to be holding an open home on, okay? But here are two different ways you can kill multiple birds with one stone. One, you go out, and, like I've said before, and you do a neighbor's only open house. You mm -hmm. go from 12 to 1, right? right. With, uh, you know, with your personality, you're not going to have a problem with this next part. Most real estate agents don't. But let's say you meet me at the front door. And we you know, hit it off. We're having a good time. We're laughing and joking. I'm like, okay, this gr this girl knows what she's lady woman. This woman knows what she is saying. Child. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> so you go and you have you have your you guys this your camera HD recording device. People are going to want to know about that neighborhood, like she was just saying. If you can get people to give testimonials, maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds, about how long they lived, you know, why they love it, and the best attribute of the neighborhood, and then when that buyer comes through that open house, they're like, well, tell me about the neighborhood. You can be like, well, actually, Mr. or Mrs. Buyer, here's a testimonial that are from one of your neighbors. That's amazing. I've actually never heard of that, so that's great. That's two. That's two. That's two. No. <laughs> 
Because you fell asleep in Greg's class. Oh, man, I know I must have. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, there's no energy in that class whatsoever. Right. No, no, no. And do you want me to go on to the next one? I know we're probably yes. running out of time here, Yeah, right? before Greg takes up all the rest of the episode, <laughs> just talking, just pat, doing nothing but knocking himself over by patting no, himself on the back. It's great. I'll, I'll, yeah, he's good. Um, referral networking groups. Okay, they're all around. I was fortunate enough to get invited to compete for the real, the real estate spot on the networking group. Cool. Find a group that has one spot per position, whether it be one lender, one realtor, one contractor, whatever it is. It's, it's similar to a B&I group is what I'm in. Um, mm -hmm. I, so it's every Thursday from 7.30 to 9. I mean, I, I have to be up you know, at 5.30 to leave by 6.30. It's an early day for me, and I'm not a morning person. So <laughs> six months into it, I was like, oh, you know, this is kind of pointless. Like I'm giving out more, more referrals and everything than I'm even receiving, more closed business. Then again, you cannot twist somebody's arm to buy a house, right? So I almost gave up on this networking group. Uh, in December, I did a buy sale from that group. That's two sales right there, and I only had to pay $400 total for quarterlies for the year. That's a no-brainer. That's one sale just from the referrals from the networking group. I'm also, I have a potential listing in Brentwood and Castro Valley from this group, and I'm showing the presidents of that group the family, I'm showing his family homes. Wow. So it went from not thinking that this is going to work out to being like, okay, stick it out. I just gave myself a year goal go figure right before I'm about to quit all this starts coming through and that's real estate for you everything takes time you know and that's why I mean if it was like this everyone would do it it's hard work you gotta you have to have patience you have to have confidence you have to go through the roller coaster you know there's gonna be bad times and you have to be able to be strong enough and have that thick skin to work through it you know you can sit there and sulk and dry out of the business in eight months if you want to, but you've got to move forward. And that's something that I had to learn to being, you know, a bartender that made cash every single night to, oh my goodness, when's my next sale going to be? You know, it's, it's real estate. Again, you can't force somebody to buy an amazing investment if you, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's time, it's effort, it's patience, it's, um, educating yourself, it's knowing the market, it's there's so many ways I'm learning every single day. I will continue to learn. The market and real estate's constantly changing. I'm changing with it and there's no way in heck I will ever be like, okay, I'm done learning. I will learn every single day. So, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, before you got before we got on, you said that you've taken some of your biggest learning points from watching this podcast. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh my god. All right, <laughs> let me ask you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but, Sorry, again, me. before Greg knocks himself flat off his chair, <laughs> patting himself on the back, um, I'm curious. Like, obviously, you're, you're new. Yeah, mm -hmm. your background's not in real estate. Yeah. So, when you're going in, uh, or are you working mostly with buyers? Uh, and how are you presenting yourself as, uh, as obviously, you're a younger person and okay. you're a female in the business? How are you differentiating yourself from other agents, especially more experienced agents? Right. Okay. Um, I actually, my first year I did 50-50, buyer and listings, um, which is awesome, which is really rare. Yeah. Um, I've had, gosh, I've had more buyers than listings for sure, but it's, it's been a, not a crazy amount difference. It was 50-50 for a while, and then buyers came out of the woodworks in the last bit of the year, so I, I definitely skyrocketed more on that. Um, as for differentiating yourself, I think when I ask my clients, like, what did they like with working with me? They're like, Ashley, you have the best communication. You know, I one client left the realtor that they were working with. He's like, they won't ever return my calls. They're too busy. I'm talking to a team, you know, what part of the team that's not even knowing what I'm talking about. I am fully hands on deck, you know what I mean? And he was just like, I need somebody with great communication skills. Now I better be a good communicator. I have a degree from San Diego State in communication. So, you know, <laughs> if I wasn't, I was, that's wasted money if I wasn't good at that. But, and it's just, get, again, getting yourself out there. I, um, be outgoing. You can't, I, I don't know. I it just, you have to know, I, I, honestly, I'm surprised I'm going to say this, but I think real, uh, bartending really prepared me for real estate because, People come in, different personalities. You have to work with everybody's different personalities. Not everyone's the same. Not everyone likes the same drink. You know, it's the same thing when people come in looking for a home. Mm -hmm. You have no idea if it's going to be an older, a first time home buyer, a move up buyer, or whatever it may be. And you just have to know how to 
adjust your sales, I should say. You know, you're, you you have to go with float with the wind and go with it. You know, don't be so caught up in, oh, I don't know this, I don't know that. And if you don't know something, admit to it. You know, I'm not going to sit there and bullshit because trust me, a bullshitter knows when you're bullshitting. So <laughs> it's one of those things that you literally need to say, you know what, I actually don't know that answer, but I will get it right back to you. And people love that. They love the honesty. So where did you go, Ashley? What are a few of your resources? What, is the, what are your go-tos for education? Um, wh how, a lot of the times people just don't know where to look. So wh what do you use? Honestly, well, as you know, Rockcliffe is um, not, I mean, for newer agents, you actually have the AIM class, which is great, right? There's not a full-on training, though, like Keller Williams does, and they have these training things. But personally, I wanted to be on Rockcliffe because it's the best, obviously. Yes, so, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. But your training is awesome, and that's actually my mom's part of your training right now. So I guess I will yeah. toot your horn right now. Uh, she loves it. <laughs> it's, very, it's very inspiring, motivating. So that was very helpful. You gave a lot of things to do. Um, other than that, it's all about educating yourself. If you go on online. You can find anything. If you have questions about cold calling scripts, Greg, you're great at this. I hate cold calling, so maybe I should start looking at those and getting more familiar with that. So if I have to do that one day, I'm not going to freak out, you know? Um, there's ways, there's anything you absolutely need to learn about real estate, it's online. There's books, there's webinars, there's social events. If you have a little bit of money set aside, maybe attend a Tom Ferry or a Brian Buffini event. I went to Tom Ferry one time and that gave some great advice. You're going to get stale every once in a while. You're going to hit a little rock and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I need something to motivate me. Get on. You do something. Go go to a social event. You mm -hmm. know? Uh, but honestly, just it's a learning curve. It is. I mean, everybody, once you do it, you know, it's learning as you go. And you don't just know everything when you start real estate. Who, who in the world can admit that? You know? Nobody. But and every the, deal is different. The, the, Matt, I think the scripts and objections uh, private Facebook page, the one that we get our questions from, Ashley, you should join mm -hmm. it. You have yeah, over 15, almost 16,000 people on it. And so yes. next time you run up with a question, you're like, crap, I don't know what to do. I'm yeah. not joking. Go type it in. You will get a ton of people responding to you yeah. like that. So That's it's real-time responses. You don't have to hunt and peck anymore. The, the overall real estate community on that page mm -hmm. uh, wants to help, wants to give. Because when they have a problem, everyone's going to give back to them. It's a, it's a phenomenal group. Yeah, that sounds great. I would love to join. That's true. So, Ashley, what's, uh, what's your plans? Like, um, How are you leveraging up and what's your goals for how to get there? All right. Well, I do have a wedding to pay for this year, so hopefully <laughs> we can just set all that aside right now. Um, I would honestly like to do five more than last year, so I will be at the 18 mark, um, not including my mom's. So 18 by myself, and my goal is to keep doing what I'm doing but adding. In all honesty, the equity thing that was brought up earlier, I'm going to join that. I've never done a lead generation. Um, my mom's actually on it, so she just started that. So we're going to play out on how that will go. I've always been referral-based, so that's a little bit out of – my usual, you know, I guess, uh, comfort zone. But with her wanting to do it and being a new agent and not having that referrals, I think it'll be great to try that for the team. So that's something new we're trying. I'm obviously going to grow my farm and really start working on that. Um, again, the five things that constantly work, and thank God they're free, I'm going to really just go at it. Full, for, full force because it's working. You know, there's nothing mm -hmm. really I need to change. Of course, there's a million other things I can do. <clears throat> Cold calling, which I'm not going to do. Them. <laughs> you know, there's a million things out there, but make sure you stick to the things that you're comfortable with because you're going to sound awkward if you hate it. Like, if you absolutely hate cold calling, they're going to tell on the other line that you don't like cold calling. So you might as well just not do it. Do something else. Get out I, there. I actually have an objection on that. You could actually <laughs> leverage that for a positive thing, but I would never do uh, that. No, but she's, you're so right, Ashley. And what so many times people start doing things and it works so well that they stop doing them. Right. You know, right. just you know, cater to your strengths, guys. If it, like Ashley, if you don't like to do cold calls, don't do them, guys. You're not going to make the time for them anyways. Mm -hmm. You know, but but if she can go out and be a part of that networking group or something along those lines, and she gets energized and she's seen success and she's helping families or whatever it is, go spend more time doing it. You you don't have to be in the office. Actually, no, she's, she's I... never in the office. Yeah. Don't, be, <laughs> don't be in the office. That's yeah, just good advice. I'm probably never in the office. No, and, and I actually got invited to join another networking group on Friday, and I'm interviewing for that tomorrow, and that'll be two, which means that that's more sphere of influence, people I would never meet in the world, you know, and now they have all theirs. So I'm going to hopefully get it, and that'll, and you know, be another net, another avenue of um, increasing my clientele. That's awesome. Congratulations. So you, I, you. I honestly, honestly, honestly believe that you're going to do that, but I, I, think, I don't think you're going to do 18. I think you're mm -hmm. going to do in the 20s. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. But <laughs> I, no, I, I'm not. I'm not shitting. 
you yeah. at all. I really do think you. I I've 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 been around agents long enough. I can tell you when they're duds or they're or they're going to make it. And um, you have tremendous potential to exceed even what you possibly could ever imagine. Thank you. That is a huge compliment. Thank you. Your personality, your 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 willingness to learn. Your dedication, your hard work, these are attributes of a, a true professional. So congratulations. I, I uh, you will be buying me a drink when you get that over that twenty mark this time. <laughs> ah, thank you. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well with that, what do you say we uh, we skip the final question? We'll save that for the next episode and uh, we'll send this baby home. Let's do it, man. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're not Actually, done it, was a, it was a pleasure having you on. So thank you very much. Um, so first of all, if anybody wants to send you a, uh, a referral or connect with yeah. you and just ask you, kind of uh, keep track of you, and if they have any questions about what you're doing on Facebook, any follow-up questions for you, how do they connect with you? Okay, you can call me on my personal cell phone, 925-997-997. <laughs> 8526 um, and also my email is going to be a h o r c h e r at rockcliffe.com and that will be changing soon horker is a pretty last, bad last name sorry dad for the girl <laughs> but it's h o r c h e r but my name ashley horker awesome all right, and a quick shout out to Viral Marketing once again. Check them out at getviral.com and then Equity with two Qs, the uh, online buyer lead generation platform that Ashley mentioned. So she's going to be working on it. Her mom is working on it. Uh, that's part of how she's expanding her business. And uh, if you're interested in that, take the McDaniel Challenge. Greg, what is the McDaniel Challenge? The McDaniel Challenge is uh, you would call me on my personal cell phone, which I'm doing to Ashley right now. <laughs> like, you're calling me. Am I supposed to be talking to you right now? <laughs> What a weirdo. <laughs> the, phone, the number actually worked, guys. It, it is your real number. Oh, God. No stalkers. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You just went out to like oh, a couple thousand people. Um, uh, call me on my on my personal cell phone. 925-915-1978. Uh, 925-915-1978. Please book a time with me, guys. I swear to God, it's fun. There's no format to it. We just hang out, kick back, relax, get to know each other. The questions will flow. If you have anything that you want to bring up to me, I will give you everything I do. All right, except for one. I don't, I don't tell anybody about one. But I, tell, I will tell you everything else. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell everybody except that one thing. Um, but no, seriously, everything. Um, and so, guys, please call me. Uh, we're booked. We have two more spots this month, and I truly look forward to speaking with you. Matt and I do this podcast, and I say this over and over again, because we truly love it. We have an absolute blast of a time doing this. Uh, it takes a lot of work. It takes a few funds to do this. Uh, but we, we love you guys. We want to see you succeed. We, I've been in the business for almost 16, almost 17 years. I don't want you to go through what I've had to go through. And I want to see you guys make more money in a shorter amount of time. So thank you from the bottom of my heart that you guys to take the time and you guys come and watch us and listen to us. And sometimes Ben's watch us and we appreciate that too. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> um, and please tell a friend about it, guys. That's how we're growing the show. Please tell a sure. friend or your office or just your entire brokerage. That'd be fine too. Sure. Yeah, and if you want to have us come in and actually do a, a, a version of this live in your office and talk about like high tech, high touch lead generation and prospecting and all that stuff, any of the thing that we talk about here on the show, <clears throat> just take the McDaniel challenge, get a hold of Greg and hook him up with whoever in the office makes that kind of decision, and we can look at coming into your office and appearing live in person. <laughs> live, <laughs> plugged or unplugged, depending on whether you have a microphone or not. Yes. I think unplugged right. is good cool. better for us. Uh, so we are back on Friday. We're talking about the uh, the three types of events that you should be uh, throwing to grow your business, I believe, if I remember right. You are. Uh, unless Greg secretly booked a guest when I wasn't looking. Otherwise, I that's did. what we're talking about on Friday. We've got a couple cool guests <laughs> lined up uh, for next week. And then we've got an awesome guest for the very end of the month. I just booked Jeff Latham, who is a mega agent with Keller Williams up in the Washington. Washington area, uh, as well as doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching with some of the top agents in the country and lenders in the country, actually, to help them get better. Uh, we're going to talk about his story and how he got to where he got to be, and he's got a, a, a team that basically uh, essentially runs without him, kind of the same situation as Jeff Cohn. Uh, so it's going to be an awesome, awesome interview towards the end of the month. So That really is. And we have Pete and Peter. They're going to talk about off-the-market properties and how they're finding them and stuff. And so we got some just kick-ass stuff, guys. you got to tune in. Yeah. Yeah, we got some cool, cool, cool stuff coming up. So, with that said, we will see you back here on Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific, as well as next week at the same time, Mondays and Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank see you. See you guys. Bye.